Well, hello, and welcome to another Weekend Twofer with me. So, this group I'd like to talk about is actually it's actually pretty... Honestly, I find it a little bit intimidating because I would say that this is a group that is given... I guess has a combination of talent, beauty, definitely, beauty, and company support, you know. Um... They're not that new, but in a sense, they are, I would say that they're pretty, they really pack a big punch. And that group is ESPA. Now, um, ESPA is a group under SM management, under SM, which is part of the big four. Now, SM is, um, SM actually doesn't have that much girl groups, but the girl groups they have are, I would say, rather iconic. Uh, it started with SNSD or Girls' Generation, and they really made it big there. Now, after after some time, their their next girl group was Red Velvet. Now, Red Velvet actually was up there with Twice in terms of um, competition. They're a little bit less. They're less girly, or I mean, no, no, no not less girly, but more. Uh, more of a girl crush theme rather than um, more of a girl crush theme rather than twice as more um, bubbly bubblegum pop image before um, they they might have more or less waned a bit in terms of popularity but they're still pretty up there and they still do have a strong fandom and after red velvet comes espa now espa uh, espa started in the year 2020 so they're basically all already on their fourth year now, so they're not rookies, and they're they're not rookies, but they're not super veterans yet. I guess they're rather coming into their peak. And now, the name Espa itself, I guess it's uh, I think it has a, it has it has to do with the words avatar and um, ex experiment, right? And also with the word aspect, so it's basically um, our experience. It basically makes it into Espa, and their fandom is called My or My. Now they're a they're a girl group of four, so it's not it's not the it's not the usual number nowadays, uh, since um, most groups are coming in at either six or five. Um, most of them are six, but some of them have the the curse of six so uh, would go into five some would go into seven like maybe monster and um and maybe well the only the only other ones that i remember with regards to being four group of four is um 21 and blackpink now aspas just four uh they compose they're composed of winter uh karina ning ning and giselle now Ningning is Chinese, mainland Chinese. Uh, Giselle is half Japanese, half Korean, while Karina and Winter are Korean, uh, South Korean. Now, take note that these four na- that all four members are using stage names. They have their own um, Korean and Chinese names and Japanese names, and but they're known as the four. They're, they're known professionally as Karina, Winter, Ning Ning, and uh, Giselle. Now, um, a lot of them of uh, Winter, Winter and Karina has been getting a lot of also a lot of um, support because of their visuals. You know, um, they're usually talking about Karina being like a human anime because she has these. Um, she has this, well, aside from the beautiful face, she has a small face and I guess her healthy body and nice proportions. Now, um, in terms of music, their concept is what they call a multiverse concept. I guess it's something that goes beyond different types of, uh, types of universes or types of genre. And um, some people would say they're part of the AI concept, but... I would say, yeah, the multiverse concept would match them very well. Now, the thing there with Espa is that I think most people tend to just see them as their visuals. You know, a lot of 
people tend to find Karina really, really attractive, and I do too. Though I initially found that I initially found their music very intimidating in a sense that um, they're coming in full force. They're not like G. They're 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 basically like an amped up G idol in a sense that without the stronger which is which do not ex- exclude like strong a strong presence but they come in they come in strong but they come in very elegant in a sense that all four of them are very beautiful they do strong moves but they're very elegant now they started with the song black mamba honestly when i heard of black mamba it's fine it still reminds me of a Blackpink type song with Black Mamba. Now, they did follow it up with uh, with two other songs which I really like, which is Spicy and Drama. Now, I initially thought that Drama was actually a Blackpink song, but it's not. It's actually Espa. And they played it so well. Um, while Spicy is very similar, it's also a really good song. So, um, I do find that that they're they're with when they release spicy and drama i despite black mamba being one of the uh, fastest uh, fastest uh, songs with the fastest views uh, fastest 24 hour views i would say that i like i i like drama and spicy more now they recently uh, have had a comeback under uh, which is called armageddon now they had so far they have two songs already out, which is Armageddon and um, Supernova, which I find, which is for me, I honestly liked it a lot. I would really see that their multiverse concept in terms of starting out with Black Mamba, transforming themselves a little bit with regards to with when they did drama and spicy, and now they're coming into like more of a space, uh, space fantasy goth theme. Now. I initially did not like Armageddon. I have to admit that uh, it sounded a bit too uh, too theatrical for me. Uh, for people who are familiar with who likes rock music, there's this thing called the rock opera. I I always it it always takes me a while to appreciate rock opera, and that's something that I I felt that's a vibe I felt when I heard of Armageddon, the dance, you know, the move, the, the dance, the slow build up. And coming with the digital sounds, it took a while, but when they did Supernova, it clicked. Honestly, it clicked for me. Uh, when they did Supernova with the, um, I'm not sure if it's a techno beat. I guess it might be a techno beat. The dance, the timing, with um, with the vocal, with the with the vocal cadence that they're using. For some reason, it made me go back to Armageddon and appreciated Armageddon more. You know, now I'm I'm going through their going through the rest of their the the album and it seems like they have a theme like well of course it's like a theme like a space theme and it's it's working you know I guess and you can see how good they are in terms of especially when they do their videos the music videos you can see that they really spent on it you know SM is really pushing it I guess that's also one of the things that that differentiates them in the sense that. Well, I guess that's also the thing YG's doing, wherein they had Blackpink, they had a long, long time gap before they go went all in with Baby Monster. Um, by the way, their new song, not sure, but very good. Uh, now they did, I guess, S, um, SM is doing that, not after Red Velvet uh, comes Espa, and they're really pushing it. They're really giving them the the the... the they're giving them all the support they need, and plus the fact that they're talented, they're beautiful, they they can dance, they can sing, and it's funny that most K-pop idols are getting thinner. They're not. They're they have healthy, I would say, healthy bodies, um, and it doesn't hinder their looks. You know, it doesn't hinder their dance. They actually dance better for me, and it really hits. You know, um, after Armageddon, which I found weird. And then I got it. It's very, it's very, very. It's not really rare, but it does doesn't usually happen. Wherein 
the second song made my made the first song better for me and that's one thing that i love about now that i love about espa now that i'm now that i'm slowly getting into them and i now understand the fandom for espa and how how much they love how much the the fandom of espa is really strong because they do they do have that that thing that that despite they have different styles in their in their albums and in their releases you can you can feel you can see how how it connects now another thing also with espa is that it was all she was also their name was also dragged in in the minhee jin uh versus hype or bang si hook um controversy because apparently this minhee jin who was uh, as a quick summary it was about uh the problem where in minhee jin who was a ceo of ador who did who developed new genes is having this problem or having this confrontation against the hype which is the the um, the umbrella label and minhee jin came from sm and when bang si hook said that apparently allegedly that when he got minhee jin out of sm to join him in hype he, um, well, to initially run Source Music, wherein she wanted to do her own, and which way they had to do a door, is that one of Bang Si Hook's goals is can he can she crush Espa? Now, I guess because of the, the impact Espa came in, uh, and well, personally, I still think that Espa is still, I would say, Espa with their experience and their discography. Well, still, I guess it's still up there. You know, new jeans came in with a big bang, and then now they have their comeback now, and so it became um it became more of like um a K-pop stands battleground, where they were saying that oh, so you're trying to find a way to ruin Espa or trying to beat Espa, not really ruin, but trying to beat Espa, and I guess it it got squashed when um Espa and new jeans collab, you know, so like uh, winter. And uh, and another one and danced with New Jeans and it was really great. You know that's one thing I love. That I, I hope that I hope that New Jeans gets to collab more for New Jeans since um, now since they need to move on from we've move on from this and they've gone through they've already done their started their Japanese um, Japanese releases their new Japanese releases while Espa on the other hand just started their Japanese release again with Hot Mess. Uh, well, I would say that from my from the way I noticed, like in Itzy's Japanese release, like in Algorithm, you know, they're not as banging as the Korean releases. They tend to be a little more muted, which I guess why, because I understand why, because I guess Japanese audiences aren't as as bombastic as that. But um, like in Eugene Supernatural, but I guess Hot Mess is a it's a good introduction to Espa. You know, since the Korean style's already been there with Black Mamba, you know, spicy drama, you got Armageddon, now you got Supernova. You've already starting to see how Espa develops. But this time now it's just the first taste of the Japanese to see to see them. And it's a great start for Hot Mess. It's a great start for Hot Mess. And the thing is, they I guess we just have to wait for their next follow-up to see how they're able to build on that. But I would really like to say that it took me a while to to really appreciate Espa. You know, I started appreciating new jeans a lot faster. Um well, you know, every well, if for people who who watch me, I do stand eyelid. And I still do stand eyelid and I love it, see, and and now that I actually tend to appreciate Espa now. I see and see how wh how people love them, and um, I do I do hope that you can try them out. You know, um, I I suggest try them from the beginning. Try from Black Mamba and move move down from there, and you can see how their their genres intermix, how their genres branch out, and then go to Hot Mess. You know, and don't don't judge Hot Mess yet. As something that it's lackluster, I think it's a great introduction to the Japanese market, and um, I and it's also one of the groups that I can't stand because I like I like them all. They all have their own, um, they all have their own um, own appeal. You know, I, I I do like Ning Ning, I do like Ning Ning, but I no, I, I like everybody. But it's just like me appreciating Espa. I do hope that you can try them out. Um, 
their artwork is also great you know uh and i'm just i'm just i'm still in the i'm still in the middle of getting to really absorb espa and i do hope that i just like telling it that it's it's a va it's it's a trip you know getting into espa so i'm just like giving my appreciation to espa guys if you have anything about it maybe there's other songs that espa fans might like to recommend but I'm really enjoying my ESPA journey right now and I hope you can join me in it or at least try it out for yourselves.